Welcome back to our channel. In this video, let us write the Python program to get the cylinder displayed and also give an animation to rotate along Z axis as displayed in the screen. Before seeing the implementation, if you have not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel. Coming to the implementation to uh, do the Python code, we have to import the necessary packages. NumPy is to provide the numerical functions built into it. So, we will have NumPy and matplotlib for plotting the uh, cylinder in the axis. As the cylinder is a 3D, we are going to import axis 3D from mplot3D uh, package in Python, which is also part of matplotlib. And we will use a CM package, which is color map that we will use to draw the cylinder from matplotlib. Let me set the background of the figure in which we are going to plot by uh, giving uh, face color as black and as I said the cylinder is a 3D projection so set the axis for projection equal to 3D. Uh, we are making the platform ready to have our cylinder displayed in the uh, 3 axis using matplot. Since it would be better if we don't display x, y, z uh, uh, titles so I will give axis as off and the area in which we are going to draw the cylinder shall have the background as cyan. We are going to draw the cylinder using Cartesian coordinates where x is r cos theta, y is r sin theta and z is uh, the axis values to have the 3D effect where r is the radius and theta will range from 0 to 2 pi. Now we will set the value of radius as 0 0.5 and the value of z, small z, shall take 100 samples ranging from uh, 0 to 10. For that we will use the uh, lint space provided by numpy. Uh, so the lint space method shall pick 100 values which are equally distanced from 0 to 10. Then theta as we saw for the Cartesian coordinates the value will range from 0 to 2 pi and again within uh, 0 to 2 pi we will take 100 equidistance samples using uh, lint space method provided by numpy package. So we have assigned the values for r, z and theta. Now going forward with the Cartesian coordinates x is r cos theta. So, I will use R NP num package cos theta and similarly Y capital Y is radius times of NP sin theta. Now, the raw value of Z shall be uh, converted into a mesh grid. So, as we know mesh grid is a method provided by the NumPy where it will result in rectangular plot considering two arrays. Here the two arrays are theta and z. The resulting are A and capital Z. Now having the value of x as r cos theta, y as r sin theta and z is the result from a mesh grid. We can plot surface plot provided by the math plot by passing all these three axes and let me set R stride C stride to 10 for the color map uh, CM RDPU. Let us now execute at this level to see our uh, cylinder how it is getting uh, displayed. We could see that uh, the cylinder uh, we got the cylinder and we could see since we have set the R stride the color map are combined accordingly in gaps of 10 units. So now to add animation to it so that it shall rotate along the z axis let me import animation from matplotlib and now we can do this uh, easily. Uh, first we need an init function for animation which shall be called at the first instance. So, let us have this plot surface as uh, the init function. So, under define init, we will have the plot surface having x, y, z with color map and our stride c stride value set to 10. The function shall return the figure itself. The second function that is needed for animation is animate which takes the input parameter here i 
and this shall be called periodically. So based on the value of i which is passed during the period call to this function animate, we will use the method view init and change the value of elevation and azimuth. Azimuth is the z axis. So the values of elevation azimuth will be based on the input parameter i which is passed during periodical call to animate. So now it's uh, the method function animation is a method provided from the animation package which shall have the parameters. The first one is figure itself then the animate which shall be called periodically based on the frames value up to 90 starting from 1 to 90 and this is called at an interval of 200 millisecond and b, b bit shall be set to false because we don't want to reuse the figure or the output of the uh, previous call so let us understand this clearly animate function is called by passing the frames values from 1 to 90 as i value which decides the elevation and azimuth so every time when it is called at the interval of 200 milliseconds uh, the z axis and elevation are getting changed and b lit set to false so that we don't want to reuse the return value of the figure from previous call now on execution uh, we are getting the cylinder which is animated to rotate along the elevation and z axis. So, with simple Cartesian coordinate with x equal to r cos theta, y equal to r sin theta and z is a value ranging from 0 to uh, 10, we could plot the 3D cylinder in Python using Mathplotlib. Hope you liked the video. Please subscribe to our channel and share with your friends. This is the complete walkthrough of your code to have the cylinder displayed in 3D.